You're watching TVC Breakfast. It's time for us to see the headlines across Nigerian newspapers. And let's run through and see. Uh, we'll start with the Nation newspaper this morning. And it says, uh, Tinubu has set standard in leadership, says Buhari President Laon Bajabemila. Others hail from a Lagos governor at 70. Okay, that's the Nation newspaper. Blueprint, on the other hand, says, as terrorists attack Kaduna Abuja train, Religious leaders must speak up against violence. Sultan is uh, quoted as saying this. Right? From there, let's go to Nigerian Tribune. Terrorists blow up Abuja Kaduna rail track, uh, surround train, fire shots, military to the rescue. Okay, that's a Nigerian Tribune. The Vanguard is next, and he said hoodlums attack uh, Emo police station with petrol bombs. Right, that's uh, the Vanguard newspaper. Daily Trust. Daily Trust is next. And it says, after APC convention, confusion as Adamu Kiari hold two elective positions. Resign now, lawyers, uh, uh, PDP is saying this. 1999 constitution is silent regarding this. Why we must act, I know, or why we can't act. Anek is saying this. Recall that the new chairman of uh, the APC, Adamu, as well as uh, Kerry, are senators from Nasarawa and Borono State, respectively. So now they are national leaders of the APC. Uh, this, the arguments here are should they keep holding their seats as uh, senators? That's what the argument here is about. That's Daily Trust. From there, let's go to the Punch newspaper. Uh, and he's talking about national convention. Eric Bishala lies allies, aggrieved chieftains, supporters, dump APC. Crisis lingers in Kwara, Washroom, Zanfara. Others, despite Buhari's plea, aggrieved party members refuse to withdraw court cases in states. And Adamu's peace panel fails to beat deadline on report submission. All right. All that on the front page of the Punch newspaper. First news is next. First news says that Emefiele breaks silence, says, I am not contesting for president. I am not contesting for president. You, you recall that uh, so many posters, political posters of uh, Godwin Emefiele, the uh, governor of the central bank, uh, later everywhere that, uh, you know, portraying him as uh, being interested in politics, you know, in, in the presidency. Now, he's coming to break the silence here, according to First News, saying, I am not contesting for president. This Nigeria is next. 2023 PDP presidential ticket. Go south or face defeat at the polls. ex senate president, Anim cautions opposition party. Anim, uh, oh, sorry, anyone above 70 shouldn't contest president, he says, or Tom. That's uh, the governor of Benue State. From there, let's go to Daily Sun. Daily Sun says, federal government, PDP fight over destabilization plot. All right. Federal government, uh, PDP fight over destabilization plot. Okay. All that on the front page of uh, the Daily Sun. From there, let's go to the Guardian newspaper. Guardian says, Zaraki Tambuwal Mohammed push for consensus unity team okay that's what uh, the guardian uh, is saying from there let's go to business day nigeria lags on covid 19 vaccination one year after nigeria lags on uh, covid 19 vaccina vaccination one year after that's business day daily independent is the next one we're looking at now and he says uh, stakeholders differ over 92 billion naira for Abuja Airport second runway. Stakeholders differ over 92 billion naira for Abuja Airport second runway. That's Daily Independent. And the last one we're looking at now is uh, despite Ghana's positive growth, federal government blames global economic meltdown for Nigeria's decline. Despite Ghana's uh, positive growth, Federal government of Nigeria blames a global economic meltdown for Nigeria's decline. Okay, uh, it's a contradiction there somehow. You might have to, you know, get details of that to understand what it's talking about. That's the papers this morning. Uh, today's edition, uh, we don't have analysts to 
break down all of that, but uh, is to let you know uh, what uh, the headlines are across Nigerian newspapers.